Analytics India magazine you're watching the weekly roundup where you will find the top stories in the data and analytics ecosystem let's start with a bit of world news amid ongoing conflict between ukraine and russia ukraine suspects disruption in its internet connection elon musk's starlink satellites have now been deployed over ukraine with more on the way the move came after vice prime minister of ukraine michael yurfodoto made a request to musk on twitter to help his country the billionaire previously donated 50 satellite terminals to restore the internet in tonga whose telecommunication network was severely disrupted by a tsunami this year moving on anonymous the hacker collective has declared a cyber war against vladimir putin and the russian government the group claims to have already disabled sites including the state controlled russian news agency the kremlin's official website and russian internet service providers using both twitter and youtube the group urged followers to launch cyber attacks on the country's website on twitter the group said we as activists will not sit idle as russian forces kill and murder innocent people trying to defend their homeland two of the largest us semiconductor manufacturers intel and amd have suspended their chip sales to russia These restrictions are in accordance with the trade sanctions that the US government has implemented since Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Now the new export barriers are targeting chips that will be used in the military and dual chips that could be used for both military and civilian purposes. This does not include chips for consumer devices like personal computers, mobile phones, digital cameras and more. The ban will be in effect starting March 3. Coming back to India, the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology has partnered with Google for a program called AppScale Academy to help a group of 100 Indian mid-stage startups to build apps and games of high quality. The startups were shortlisted after a lengthy process that judged their product applications, product quality, scalability, and innovation from among 400 applications. This will commence the inaugural class for AppScale Academy, which was launched in October last year. Microsoft announced that Flight Simulator has been launched on Xbox One Cloud Gaming. Microsoft's cloud platform allows subscribers to stream Xbox games on a large range of devices like Xbox One. Now the Flight Simulator has been added to the cloud after Microsoft upgraded its Xbox Series X hardware. Now the hardware now offers 180p and bandwidth of 60 fps across the service the game's multiplayer feature remains the same so multiple games can be played on pc xbox and cloud microsoft has also added marvel's guardians of the galaxy and young souls for xbox game pass starting from march 10 Qualcomm has announced the new AI-driven Snapdragon X70 modem at this year's Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. The modem is expected to deliver an improved 5G experience for mobile devices and tables. The modem uses AI for its 5G capabilities while maintaining low latency and power efficiency in phones. In its statement, the company has said that 5G power safe Gen3 technology makes it 60% more power efficient. Moving on, Indian IT services and consulting company Tech Mahindra announced that it was launching Tech Mverse, a metaverse-related business to offer customers immersive experiences. The company wants to use its own AI, blockchain, AR, VR capabilities to build B2B use cases across segments. Tech Mverse will begin with four main centers in Dallas, London, Pune, and Hyderabad. Apart from this the company will also offer collectibles as a part of its partnership with Mahindra and Mahindra on Tech Mahindra's NFT marketplace. Samba Nova system has launched Samba Nova GPT Banking, a purpose-built solution leveraging deep learning to drive the digital transformation of banks. GPT Banking is built for banks with large language models and is offered as a subscription service to simplify the process of deploying the most advanced language models in quick time. Banks can leverage the technology to perform segment analysis, entity recognition, language generation and language translation. Moving on, Apollo Hospital has tied up with 8 Chilli, a deep tech startup to bring virtual reality 
to healthcare solutions. Eight Chili's Hint VR platform enables surgeons to consult with their patients in full immersion for a more informed consent and better patient outcomes. Surgeons can use it to engage patients in immersive and interactive ways for pre-op and post-op consultation. Patients can also learn effectively from 3D content, achieving health literacy, medical education and much more. Finally, moving on to fundings and acquisition. Bengaluru-based test automation startup Test Sigma has secured 4.6 million in its seed funding round led by Asil and Stripe. Test Sigma has stated that it will use the capital raised to build stronger engineering and product teams. Now, the company also wants to assemble a solid community of developers, testers, and test automation engineers. Taking forward from there, Excel has announced a $650 million fund to invest in Indian and Southeast Asian startups. Now, the fund will be used for next generation e commerce, SaaS platforms, consumer fintech, global B2B solutions, digital health, and Web3 platforms. Exact Space Technology announced it has raised $1.4 million in its seed round led by Pune based Thermax Limited. Exact Space will use the funding to grow its operation in the US as well as to build its batch of industrial solutions. That's all for today. Keep watching this space for more updates. Thank you.